Azealia Banks filed a police report following an altercation that occurred in Russell Crowe's hotel room dinner party this Saturday night. Now, um, Azealia Banks is claiming that Russell Crowe called her the N-word, uh, grabbed her, picked her up, and essentially tossed her out. Uh, originally, she wasn't going to file a police report, but because Russell Crowe is refusing to apologize, uh, she is now filing a police report. Russell Crowe is claiming that Azealia Banks um, was being disruptive and threatened everyone at the dinner party with a knife. Now, um, this is an interesting story to break down. Uh, Grace, I want to hear what your thoughts are right away. Well, we'll talk about it after. It's definitely sort of a confusing tale of he said, she said, right? So the way that the, I think where both parties agree is that Azalea Banks wasn't actually invited to this dinner party. She was a guest of a friend who was invited. Rizzo. Yes. And uh, it's, and one of 10 people, so it's an intimate right, setting. Right, right. So from, from the jump, it's a little strange that she tagged along to this small dinner party in Russell Crowe's, you said hotel room? Yes. Uh, to begin with. From there, it seems uh, that the stories sort of diverge. And um, it because both figures in this story have yeah. a history of sort of outbursts, of being a little bit... Uh, I mean, I, I, if I'm to be honest, I feel like Azealia Banks a little more so than Russell Crowe. Like, Russell Crowe has done some crazy violent things. Certainly like recently. Like, biting, biting someone's ear. Like, uh, that was that, that was the thing that happened. So, like, yeah, Russell Crowe is like a big, burly... Aussie guy who, you know, gets kind of uh, violent sometimes and drunk, or that's the image that's portrayed of him in the media, but then you, Azealia Banks, as of late, is seen more as this person who is saying really, just really vitriolic things just to get a rise out of people, just so that she could further advance her um, social media footprint, which is interesting because we both agree on this, we talked about this before the show, we, we really like her music. Like, I really love Azealia's music up until the point where I realized, like, she just says a bunch of really yeah. racist things all the time. Well, you know, I, I even said if we were reporting on this exact same story a year ago, I might have sort of a different perspective. Uh, not because I'm a fan of her music, but because we hadn't seen uh, her her true colors show themselves on, on social media the way that we have this past year especially. Now... Russell Crowe is no saint himself. I don't think he would claim to be, but uh, his altercations um, that have have taken place years ago, and it seems recently, uh, at, at he's least been kind more, of out of the yeah. At least more recently than Azalea Banks, he's he's seemingly had it under control. Now I, I'm not sure what goes on behind closed doors, um, but I do think it is curious that uh, it seems like he would be a little bit of an easy target for someone to make allegations against, but then. Someone could say yeah, the same and, thing against Azalea Banks because Russell she claimed, Crowe's account of the events yeah, are pretty crazy as well. Yeah, she claims that um, she claims that he choked her, he grabbed her by the body and picked her up and um, basically threw her out, spat on her, even and right. called her the N word. Now, um, what's so here's what I wanted to say. You're right about both parties uh, being interesting people to uh, accuse pasts. one another. They yeah, with the checker pass. However, the one thing I will point out is, again, intention, right? Azealia Banks, usually whenever she finds herself in altercations, she's the one who's instigating those altercations. And she's doing it for, it, it seems like those are usually motivated by an ulterior motive. Whereas Russell Crowe, with his checkered past, is never really instigating the altercation itself. It's just like, it, those are... And and still, he's had some he's had a troubled past as well. But it's never it's usually more accidental or him messing up rather than him purposefully going after someone and saying something terrible to them with the intention of getting some sort of media outrage around it. He also certainly hasn't taken to social media in the same way that she has. That's exactly what I and mean. And there, I I want to point out as well, a lot of the events with Russell Crowe allegedly have been substance driven. Um, yes. So the motivations behind both are uh, super different. What I will be interested to see in the coming days is the witnesses at this dinner party, what they come out and say actually happened. Because right now we're, see we're it's, a, it's a lot of he said, she said, and the truth lies somewhere in between. But fortunately in this case, there were people that were present that hopefully will speak out and say, hey, this is what happened. This is what's right. This is what's wrong. I wanted to ask you about what her lawyers were saying, because haven't they put out a statement? Yes, they said okay. that Azealia Banks is tremendously distraught and disheartened. 
And um, she is shell-shocked and will speak out on the incident once she has had time to process the brutality and abuse she was unjustly subjected to. Now, Russell Crowe's people also have uh, come out and said, we're not going to apologize. Russell Crowe is not going to apologize for this incident. He did nothing wrong. I can't help but feel like I'm on the side of Russell Crowe with this one. I just, I, I'm siding with him. Okay. And not just because he was great in Gladiator and a bunch of other movies. I, I would <laughs> like to wait to see uh, what the witnesses at the dinner party say before I, I choose a side. But it does seem that um, Azalea Banks right now is way more interested in this story playing out in the public eye than Russell Crowe is. It sounds like his camp is ready for this to go away. And whoa, she wasn't even invited to this dinner party. What a mess. Let's just put this behind us. Obviously, both people really don't like each other and had some sort of an altercation. Yeah. Um, whereas Azalea Banks is releasing cryptic messages on her Facebook. She Which said, she I then have, deleted. Right, that she then deleted. So it, I, I, what I dislike about Azalea Banks is her, her often her use of social media to uh, create a public trial for an event from her perspective alone. It doesn't really seem fair. So let's hope that we get um, some unbiased objective witnesses coming forward so we know exactly okay. what happened here. But before we finish this off, I have one question for you. Okay. Azealia Banks seems like possibly one of the worst people that you could invite to an intimate dinner party, given her track record on social media, right? Well, so the question she I said about the LGBT community, she wouldn't be invited okay. to my I'm just saying, party. who would be the worst possible person you could bring to an intimate dinner party? For me, per yeah. me personally, yeah. uh, Ted Cruz. <laughs> it'd, be too, it'd be too weird. Uh, Ted Cruz or, um, yeah, probably Ted Cruz right now. What about you? Hmm, interesting. I, I, I posed the question and I didn't really think about it because I literally was thinking, like, Azealia Banks might be the worst possible person. Like, I was just thinking because... I'm trying to... There's, there's someone that you dislike more. Oh, you don't like Leslie Jones. Would I mean, you? I would still. Oh no, no, no! But that's totally different. Okay. I don't like. I don't like her style of comedy. But I, I feel like I would probably still be, like, I would definitely bring her to a dinner party, and it wouldn't be a problem. I'm talking like, what would be an issue if oh, I brought? Okay, so someone who. Yeah. So someone who fundamentally. Yeah, I think me and Leslie would, Jones could have a pretty normal I think, conversation. I think she'd be we an could awesome even be. Yeah, guest. yeah, absolutely. Okay. So who? You got to answer before we go. Lena Dunham. <laughs> Lena Dunham and Ted We Cruz. would fight because we would just fight. We would fight the entire time. And my friends would not appreciate her at all. All right, guys, let us know in the comment section below who would be the your least favorite person to invite to a dinner party and why. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time on Pop Twitter.